for an event in Toronto 26 years after he first visited aged 7 and photos show how he has swapped handshakes and suits for selfies and polo shirts. Stopping to pose for selfies, Prince Harry looked every inch a confident young royal as he greeted well-wishers in Toronto on Tuesday night. The 33-year-old spent time chatting to supporters who had waited for more than an hour to catch a glimpse of the prince as he arrived at the CN Tower for a reception for the Invitos Games Foundation. The photographs of Harry surrounded by dozens of flashing camera phones stand in stark contrast to images taken on his first visit to the city in 1991. Then just seven years old, Harry was captured politely shaking hands with supporters as he joined Prince Charles, Princess Diana and his brother. Prince William, on a royal tour of Canada. The picture also shows the schoolboy prince wearing a smart suit that is decidedly more formal than the casual ensembles he favors today. Among the crowd Harry met the mother and daughter who had come over from Yorkshire for the games. You've come all the way from Yorkshire for the games? He asked. I said it was such a good cause. Karen they're live, from near Leeds, who is in the Canadian city with daughter Rachel, told Daily Mail Online. She added that the prince had asked her, are you going to go back and spread the word? To which she replied, yes, we are. We just think it is awesome, M.S. Their lie went on. It gave us a good excuse to come to Toronto. We're having a good week. Harry also happily posed for pictures with a Syrian family, asking if their relatives were safe back in Damascus. After one man leaned over and told the prince, Harry, I'm from Scotland. To which the smiling royal loudly quipped, Doc I. The man burst out laughing and then told Harry he was visiting Toronto on holidays. He was also told by Toronto local Maury Sherman that he was so gorgeous he would gladly leave his husband for him. The 39-year-old radio DJ had been waiting to see the prince outside the city's world-famous CN Tower for four hours. He frantically called the Queen's grandson over to him as he undertook a royal walkabout amongst the crowds that had gathered outside to see him as he arrived for an Invitos Games Foundation reception. I love you so much, he said. I would leave my husband for you. Harry initially looked somewhat taken aback but seemed to take the compliment in his stride and thanked him warmly. Meanwhile Maury, who works for CUS 92.5 and is married to publicist Matthew Almeida, couldn't wait to share the news of his royal meet and greet on Twitter. Posting an image of himself shaking hands with a rather bewildered looking Prince Harry on the social media site, Maury simply captioned it, Hello number sign Prince Harry. But Maury wasn't done there, and asked the prince another rather personal question, whether he lived out of a suitcase or unpacked when he traveled. He'll live out of my suitcase, definitely, Harry said. Harry then went up in the lift of the 553-meter, 1,820-foot, tower where the reception was being held on behalf of the Invitos Games Foundation, the charity which organizes the games, to thank its supporters. In an off-the-cuff but confident speech during the event, Harry thanked all those who had supported the Invitos Games. He continued, It is unbelievable to see the journey that everyone has been through and I cannot stress this enough to everybody to get out there, meet these guys listen to their stories and in some cases learn from them. I've been hanging on about this. But these are the role models I think we need in society. The younger kids and the younger generation to look up to people like this. And to have a better understanding of what service and duty is all about. He singled out the Iraq team for making it to the games and encouraged everyone to cheer them. Harry who had changed out of the polo shirt he wore earlier into a long sleeve button-down with the Invitos Games logo on the breast, then good-naturedly posed for dozens of photographs with Invitos team members and took away with him the Denmark shirt. It has been a rather exciting day for the prince, who appeared to go on a roller coaster ride of emotion during the competition's golf tournament earlier in the day. While golf might not seem like the most riveting of spectator sports to some Prince Harry more than proved them wrong, putting on an incredibly enthusiastic display while watching the Team USA member taking part in the Invitos Games tournament. Harry was seen yelling and clapping in support of Mike Nicholson, who was taking part in the men's golfing final, happily cheering the retired Marine Corps sergeant on at Street. George's Golf Club in Toronto? It seemed as though the sporting tension, combined with the bright sunshine, may have become a bit much for the Royal who was seen removing his sunglasses to wipe the sweat away from his face at one point during the competition. The royal, who was wearing a black and Vito's Games polo shirt, dark navy jeans, 
gray Adidas tennis shoes, and a pair of sunglasses, didn't allow his momentary break in concentration to take away from his enthusiasm as a spectator, however. After Nicholson, the retired Marine Corps sergeant, had finished his shot, Harry was seen congratulating him on his performance, crouching down on the green to speak with him and another player, before shaking Nicholson's hand. Harry appeared at the tournament without his girlfriend Meghan Markle, having made his very public debut with his other half just the day before, when the pair happily confirmed their relationship to the world. After months of rumors and speculation regarding their ongoing romance, the couple stepped out in public together for the very first time, smiling happily and holding hands while watching the tennis tournament. But by Tuesday morning, it appears it was back to business as usual for the couple, with Harry making the solo appearance at a number of Invitos Games events, while the 36-year-old Suits actress, who films her popular TV show in Toronto, was noticeably absent. However, behind the scenes, Meghan is still on hand to support Harry, having moved into his five-star room at the Fairmont Royal York, one of the country's leading hotels. It is not known which suite the couple is currently occupying, however the hotel's lavish royal suite, which would certainly be appropriate, has a bar, fireplace and 16-seater dining room. It costs 2,318 Canadian dollars a night including taxes, or almost 2,875 dollars 1,400 pounds. One of the smaller suites would be 1,850 for Canadian dollars, or $1,500-$1,160. £1, Although she was born in the U.S., Miss Markle has lived in Toronto, where she films the legal drama suits, for five years. When he visits his girlfriend in the city, Harry normally stays at her rented house in a quiet, upmarket suburb. Cars being used by his security detail were spotted at the Loki residence when he arrived in Canada last week several days before the start of the Invitos Games, the sporting competition Harry created for injured servicemen. Since then, the couple have moved to downtown Toronto, where they have been discreetly living together at the Fairmont. Yet getting the chance to spend time with his long-distance girlfriend has not taken away from Harry's involvement in the Games. Earlier in the day on Tuesday, the Royal gave pet talks to athletes behind the scenes at the competition's cycling event telling them they were tougher than him for completing the Gruna Link course in the Toronto heat. The prince was completely in his element hugging the athletes, posing for selfies and shaking hands. Modestly waving away shouted thank yous from the crowd for launching the Paralympic-style competition for injured service men and women, he told cyclists, you're all amazing. This is what it's all about. The atmosphere has been incredible all week. For me, it's always going to be about the atmosphere. Everyone's really excited, they're all here for you. Sweating heavily, he also told the competitors that he was in awe of their stamina in the 80 degree 27 C heat. For miles, up and down, he told one. I just couldn't deal with it. Among those he met was veteran Royal Navy aircraft engineer Jamie Weller, who was training on a stationary bike in the team tent and is partially blind. Marveling at his adapted mobile phone, which has a special voice app to describe his location, the prince insisted on turning the tables to stage an impromptu photo shoot. After days of posing for the world's media, Harry reveled in instructing Mr. Weller to lean into his bike as he snapped away on the phone's camera. He also doled out hugs and high fives to cycling medalists, including technical sergeant Lara Mastel who endured 15 operations for stage 3 breast cancer and is thankfully now in remission. He also went on to catch up with old friends including Invito's superstars Jaco Vangas and RAF pilot Nathan Jones, former medal winners to back this year. The prince made his way around a large tent, surrounded by athletes of all nations preparing for their next race. Quitting of their competitors about whether it was their first games and how they had found it so far, he consistently deflected the tension from himself back to the sportsmen and women.